Welcome to another edition of Fixing the Money Thing. I'm Gary Cassie. And I'm Dorenda Cassie. We're talking out of Gary's new book, Your Financial Revolution, The Power of Rest, and specifically today about the double portion. There's a lot of misconceptions about the double portion, Gary. A lot of people wonder, what is that? How do I enter it? You talk about in your book that you can't enter it. You can't enter into the Sabbath rest that God has given us yep. without the double portion. Well, the double portion is real simple. Jesus talked about it. He said, given it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Running over. That's <laughs> yeah. more than enough. When Jesus fed the 5,000, they fed them. They were satisfied, but there were 12 baskets, baskets left over. The All double right. portion is more than enough. Hmm. Without the double portion, you'll still be running under the earth curse system of painful toil and sweat. Because if you run after satisfied, which most people do, you're going to miss the double portion. Right. Right. All right, the double portion is part of what uh, God is restoring to us because Jesus paid off the debt and he brought the real Sabbath, Colossians, the second chapter. He brought the reality of what the Sabbath was a shadow of to us today. And of course, they could not painful toil and sweat on the Sabbath in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. That was just a picture of what Jesus was going to bring. That's what Colossians says. The reality of what the Sabbath was, which is just a shadow, is found in Jesus. He's the reality. There's an escape. Remember in Isaiah 61 uh, that Jesus quoted in Luke, the fourth chapter, his very, very first ministry preach, if you will. <laughs> he said in his own synagogue, he took the, the, the scroll of Isaiah 61 and said, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me. For he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. Good news to the poor. Why is that so significant? Because if you are poor, meaning that you live in an insufficient system of provision, you're trapped in this running after survival mindset, living day by day, and you have to let go of your purpose, and your purpose now becomes survival or finding provision. Mm -hmm. And that's how people have all lived in the earth realm. Right. So under that method of the living, you don't really know who you are because you adapt to the paycheck. In other words, it's a slavery mentality. Uh, who's paying the most? Mm -hmm. I, I want that job. Uh, I want to become a rock star. I want to become a sports star. Why? Because they make, it's all about trying to find an escape out of this weight of finding provision. And the only way to have that is to have more than enough. So people are enslaved to trying to create provision and they're not even able to do what they really truly were created to that's do. That's correct. And that's how everyone lives. That's, that's where we grew up at. Provision is provision. Without provision, there is no vision. Vision now becomes Friday night. Can't wait to the weekend. It becomes vacation. It becomes retirement. Finally, I'll get to a place I can stop. The weight of running after provision steals life, joy, purpose from people's lives. Emotionally, they're sick. So God gave man the Sabbath day when Adam lost all of the provision, the peace in the kingdom of God. He gave him the Sabbath to give him a picture of what one day God was going to restore through Jesus Christ. Now, we have that Sabbath today. And we got to ask the question like you asked, okay, how does that work? How do I tap into it? What's right. the effect? And you mentioned the double portion. Right. And I want to know how you learned about the double portion personally. Well, I, mean, I mean, God's been teaching us, you know, for years, the kingdom. But um, before we get into diving into how he caught my attention, let me just give one reference of scripture that we can kind of bounce off of what sure. the double portion of mean. You might remember the manna back in the Old Testament. The, the manna came in the mornings. And in Exodus 16, we find the story where Moses was telling them about the manna and declaring how they would handle that on the Sabbath day. He says that there'll be no manna on the seventh day, the Sabbath, the Sabbath day. But on the sixth day, he says, you are to collect twice as much. So you wouldn't have to collect it on the Sabbath day. Exodus 16, 23 through 30. So that twice as much, a double, a double portion. portion. Now here's the question. The Sabbath was made possible. The Sabbath, the day where they didn't have to painfully toil and sweat, mm -hmm. was only made possible because of this double portion, if you will, of manna, more than enough. Only by having more than enough can you find rest, rest. from having to pursue. Right. right? That makes All sense. Right. Totally. All right. So Adam had that. He never thought about provision. He was surrounded by provision. Mm -hmm. 
He was focused on assignment. Now, this is why Jesus mentions in Matthew chapter 6, he said, why do you worry about life, the clothes you wear, the food? He said, life is more than these things because that's not life. Life is knowing God and your purpose, who you are and being on assignment. That's fulfilling. That's contentment. That's what life's about, mm -hmm. serving God. But people don't have that because they're in this running mode. Right. So the Sabbath day was a shadow. Jesus is the reality. Now, through Jesus, we become citizens the of kingdom. the kingdom. Ephesians right. chapter 2, verse 19, we become citizens of the kingdom of God and members, sons and daughters of his household. Before Jesus, we couldn't do that. But now we have, we're part of his household, so we have the inheritance of the entire estate and we're citizens. We have the laws of the kingdom, what God calls righteous, what he calls right, his laws, are now ours to enjoy, the benefits of his kingdom. Hmm. And you might remember the story of the prodigal son. You remember the, uh, the son left home. Of course, this is all a picture of Adam and Eve leaving the, the kingdom of God early. But you might remember the younger son came to his senses and said, I remember that even my father's servants have more than enough. So more than enough is the kingdom. It's always more than enough. There's no stress over provision. So the Sabbath rest is made possible, as we see here in Exodus 16 with the manna, only by having a double portion. So we've known the Bible's talked about the double portion. We've tapped right. into it when God taught us the kingdom. We got out of debt so fast, you know, began to pay cash for our car, our house. I mean, all these things change just drastically, starting businesses, being able to, you know, be able to give hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, just literally transformed our lives. We were tapping into the double portion, but we couldn't define it. Right. We were walking it out because we got involved with the kingdom yeah. and we began to see those principles. So what was the first thing that you really saw the double portion working in your own? Well, God wanted us to see it because like these lights, although you can enjoy them, you can't duplicate them until you can actually draw out and design, you know, the laws that govern what you're enjoying. You, you can enjoy it, but until you can define it, you can't teach it. You can't duplicate it. Mm -hmm. So he, he's called us to teach people the kingdom. And so he began to catch my attention, just like he did back in the first days. You know, he just began to kind of catch my attention on the kingdom. And I remember, you know, of course, God caught my attention early on with deer hunting. I'd hunted all those, you know, never got a deer. And, and God, the first thing he said regarding the kingdom is, let me show you how to get that deer. And I thought, what? You know, and he told me how to sow a seed and believe God, according to Mark eleven twenty four, 24, and got the deer in 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and have done that for 30 years. So pretty I much can attest like, to that. pretty yes. much like clockwork. Yes, That's you're right. not a, an avid hunter because you're a quick hunter. You, yeah. you sow your seed, you receive. Go out and get it. By faith, you enter into the rest of the Lord by faith, and you go and receive I it. Go, and I it. receive deer, I don't right. hunt deer. Right, so I've seen you walk that out. Yes. And then in recent years, I've seen where that's principle, we took it from you first learning it in uh, deer hunting, just like the, the disciples learned it in fishing. You that's learned right. it in it hunting. Caught my, it caught so their then, attention. Then we began to apply that to money, to yep. finances, to needs that we had, yep. to needs that we saw uh, to minister to others, yep. Yep. how to do that and duplicate that so that it created a double portion so there's enough bread for eating and seed for sowing. So those, those two, that, that double portion, mm -hmm. bread for eating, seed for sowing. That's right. How, how have you seen that manifest well, we, in other we ways? Well, we learned a lot about the kingdom. And we've been teaching this for years and seen dramatic stories and dramatic right. things happen. In our life but and in others, lots of others. We, like I said, we, there were some pieces we didn't have. And so God caught our attention with seeing some things. And it went back to deer hunting. It's just, I don't know, he caught my attention with it and he still teaches me through it. But one day, you know, we sowed, my, sowed our seed for three deer back. Our kids were still at home, needed the venison. I sowed our seed for three deer. And as I was going out one Sunday evening, you were getting ready to go somewhere in the car. You rolled the window down as I was saying goodbye to you. And you called me over to the car and you said, the Lord says double portion. <laughs> well, obviously I'm going deer hunting. So I know what the double portion is, but I, you know, I didn't really know. I assumed I get... I assumed at that point I'd get two deer. Obviously, it's a double portion. So I, I went out, and uh, within 15 minutes, I had an eight-point buck. I was bow hunting, and it was getting close to evening. I had about 10 minutes left of, of legal light, and I remember what you said. 
Well, I'll just climb back up in that same tree stand. And sure enough, in five minutes, here come the second deer. And I had, I had two deer in one time out from the same tree bow hunting. I'd never done that before. Same effort, double portion. Double portion, it caught my attention. Now, the interesting thing is, for the next five years, every time I went out bow hunting, I got two deer from the same tree stand every time I went out. And I began to notice this. God's saying, okay, can you get this? Do you see this? There's something here, Gary. You got to figure this out. And, uh, you know, I need to take a break right now. But yeah, listen, the double portion is pretty exciting stuff. And when we come back, let me tell you some more of the stories how God got our attention with this double portion. And we'll talk more about how it actually functions and how you can tap into it when we return. Gary can see, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money. Visit GaryCasee.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing 